This is the Australia Pacific LNG facility on Curtis Island. It's one of the biggest LNG export sites in Australia, where gas is turned into liquid and shipped overseas to support energy needs around the world. This facility is run by ConocoPhillips. It processes gas from fields out west, operated by Origin, and prepares it for export. As an Origin grad, I recently got the rare chance to see it all up close. Hey guys, we just hopped off the taxi at the ferry terminal we're bound to go to Curtis Island, so let's get to it. The facility is just off the coast of Gladstone, about a five minute ferry ride across to Curtis Island. These are two of my fellow grads, Samara and Lynn, looking excited to be arriving at the site. After an induction from the plant superintendent, we headed into the site and wow, the scale of this place is off the charts. It's a massive jungle of pipes and vessels, all playing a part in getting the gas ready to export. Much of this plant is interconnected, with pipes from different systems running throughout the site. It's a complex site, but it's all kept clean, controlled and well managed. Here I am chatting with my fellow grad about the probes that track vibration in the centrifugal compressors. Turbine torque might not be everyone's thing, but as an engineer, this stuff's right up my alley. Once the gas gets here, it's treated, then cooled to around minus 160 degrees Celsius to turn into liquid, ready to be loaded onto ships and sent overseas. While we were there, one of the tankers was being loaded, but before it heads overseas, the LNG is stored in these massive tanks. Safe to say, there's a fair bit of stair climbing to check them out. This is the control room, where teams keep an eye on everything to make sure everything's running safely and smoothly. It was pretty special to get out here and see the site firsthand. It really gave me a better understanding of how the downstream side works and a whole new appreciation for everything that goes into exporting gas. 